What's up guys, my name is Uncaged Games. Welcome to my questions and answer Christmas special. I asked you guys on Twitter and Instagram to ask me questions and I'm going to try to answer as many questions as I can in this video. But before I get started, I want to give back to one of you guys, or a few of you guys, depending on how many of you guys do this. I've noticed in many of my videos that I see this comment over and over again, and I'm pretty sure a lot of YouTubers see this. So if I see the comment first in this video, I'm banning your channel. Merry Christmas! Alright guys, let's get started with my questions and answers, but you know what? I'm not dressed up in the Christmas spirit. I'm not wearing red, so let's change that. Alright guys, that's more like it. So I told you guys to ask me questions on Twitter and Instagram using the hashtag AskUncaged. So let's get started with Twitter. First question comes from Tyler and he says, What is your opinion on the console wars? Do you think people take it way too seriously? Hashtag AskCage. I think people take it way, way too seriously. I go in like live streams for like PlayStation and Microsoft and I see in the chat all like PS4, Master Race, Xbox, Master Race, PC, Master Race, Wii. Master Race, but I think it's really stupid. I think we should all just get along as gamers and stick together, not kill each other. Next question comes from Tubian, and he asks, Hashtag AskCage, how did you envision your life when you were a kid? Did you think you were going to have many fans as a YouTuber? When I was a kid, my dream job was to be a video game creator, and who knows, I might still do that in the future, but right now, I'm going to college for design engineering but YouTube I did not expect to have this much support and fans from you guys I have right now I think I have 43,000 subscribers dang you know what I'm saying so I know I would never think I would have this many fans my goal was to get to 1,000 subscribers on YouTube and I got that goal 43 times I don't think a lot of people can say that but I can so I want to thank you guys for getting me that far and you know what this year is not over yet so who knows we can maybe get to 45,000 I think we can do that maybe we just got to push it says hashtag cage what is your most anticipated game of the year MKX or Batman what is your favorite color oh yeah for Madarasha good one so my game that I'm most anticipated for next year because MKX and Batman are not out yet I'm gonna say looking forward to Batman I know it's a surprise cuz I cover Mortal Kombat a lot of my channel but I played all of the games and I love every single one of them maybe not origins but I can't wait for them to conclude the game this is gonna be the final game in the trilogy in the series so I can't wait to play it to see how the game wraps up. Mortal Kombat, I'm really looking forward to that game, but I'm positive they're probably going to make another Mortal Kombat, so this is not going to be the end of the series. So I'm more looking forward to Batman. And for what is my favorite color, my favorite color you would think would be red because I wear red all the time. My favorite color is actually yellow, and no, it's not because I'm Asian and yellow is for Asian people. I like yellow because I like bright colors. I was not really a fan of dark colors. So, yellow is a bright color. I like yellow. This next question comes from Chris, and he says, Hashtag AskCage, what is your most wanted gift for Christmas? My most wanted gift for Christmas, I want a chair. I want a computer chair. That I would never think I would ever say that, because who wants a chair for Christmas? I spend a lot of time playing games, editing videos, and uploading I spent a lot of time on the computer and the chair right now is probably older than my little brother like this is this is this is like a chair this is a normal chair right your back leans against it but this thing is like like this this is the back where you put your back right you, you put your back to the chair so I'm like doing this I'm like doing this that's not good for your back especially if you spend a lot of time on the computer so I want a new chair for Christmas. That's what I want. This next question comes from Brandon and he says, Hashtag AskCage, are you in high school? If so, are you known at your school for being such an awesome YouTuber? Um, no, I'm not in high school anymore. I graduated, I believe, it's been a while. Two years. I want to say a year or two years ago. I'm in college and when I was in school, at high school, at that time I was only having around a few thousand subscribers, maybe a thousand or so. So people knew about my channel but they didn't know that it would ever get to this size. And if I could go back and say, hey what's up, you didn't believe in me? Guess what? I have 43,000 awesome subscribers 
And you have how many? Zero? Oh, that's funny, that's funny, that's funny. You're funny, you're funny. Okay, this thing is like itching my side. I think I can knock someone out with this ball. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people ask me some great questions on Instagram, so let's get to these questions. Follow me on Instagram at uncagegames with two Z's. This question says, hashtag ask Cage, why did you become a YouTuber? I became a YouTuber because I felt like I could do this. I saw a video about Gears of the War, and it was by Arctic. I'm still subscribed to him to this day. When I saw his videos when I was a kid, I loved the way he did his videos. More of a educational gaming channel. He, he taught people stuff. He showed everybody like what to do, his uh, tactics, stuff like that. Like more in-depth videos than like, oh my god, it's a dragon that's gonna bite me. Oh, scream like a little girl. So I liked his videos when I was a kid. I'm like, yo, I can do a gaming channel. So I created a channel and it's been a wild ride. I've been on YouTube with this channel for three years, but I've been on YouTube in like whole for I want to say maybe seven seven years or so. I've been on YouTube for a while. All right, this next question says, hashtag ask Cage, how did you and Caboose become friends? Well, me and Caboose became friends because I believe it was Jay, J-Roar. Um, me and J-Roar met and we, we were friends at the time and Actually, I really don't know how Caboose became our friend. I, I really don't, actually. I think he just showed up. Um, Jay was like, hey, guys, subscribe to Caboose on Twitter or something like that. And I'm like, if Jay likes it, I guess I'll like it. So subscribe to Caboose, and uh, I don't know. We've been good friends. Uh, I haven't really made any videos with him recently, but hopefully soon in the future, next year for sure, we can do some videos. I don't know if Caboose is seeing this, but if you are Caboose, see you guys later. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, man. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but for real. This next question is, hashtag ask Cage, when will you play Five Nights at Freddy's again? Do you want me to cry? Do you... No, but for real, I will probably play it soon. Apparently there's going to be a third one coming out. So when that one comes out, uh, I guess I can play that. Uh, I haven't really had time to play Five Nights at Freddy's 2 or 1. Um, been busy making a lot of videos, but I will try to make more if you want to see more. Alright, I was going to skip this question, but you know what? I'm, I'm not lying with you guys. If you could pick one character to be confirmed for Mortal Kombat X, little parentheses, except for Johnny Cage, who would you pick? You son of a gun. Who would I pick? I would pick to be confirmed, MoCap. This is another question I get frequently, but it's not too bad as my first one that I just said. Who is your favorite YouTuber slash YouTube group besides yourself? I, I don't know why people say that. Like, to be honest, if I could rank myself of like top 10 YouTubers I watch, I would put my rank at like 100. I watch a lot of YouTube channels, but I don't watch my videos. Like, I edit my videos, and I spend hours editing my videos, so I listen to my audio back again, and again, and again, and again. So, hearing my voice hundreds of times before I upload the video, I want it to be out of my sight, done. Alright? You guys hear it for the first time, so you guys are fine. But I hear my voice hundreds of times, and I'm probably going to hear my voice hundreds of times in this video, and I'm going to be super annoyed. But guess what? I don't watch myself. I don't want to cage myself more than I need to. So, my favorite YouTube group or YouTuber, uh, Arctic, I said, uh, he makes gaming channels or gaming videos. JRoar, gotta support my friends. Caboose, ZNT. I watch a lot of vlogs. If you guys don't know, I like, I'm weird. I like vlog channels. I, I watch a lot of vlogging videos because I want to see what their lives are like and I watch a lot of channel updates because I don't know why I feel like channel updates are like the best thing if I see a channel update video on my feed I will watch it first thing because I want to know what that person is going to be changing or doing in the future and uh, we can see if it actually happens in the future so I think that's cool that's why I like channel updates but I really don't have a favorite like oh my god favorite YouTube channel but I watch a lot this next question says, hashtag AskCage, what is your opinions on WWE 2K15? Now you guys might have seen my video of WWE 2K15 deleting all my data. I am still playing the game surprisingly. I like the game, it's just buggy sometimes, it deletes my file, it only deleted my file once, so hopefully it doesn't delete it again. Knock on wood, this whole thing falls down on me. GG. So the game is awesome, the gameplay is very smooth, the graphics look amazing, and a lot of you guys are really liking my Lame to Fame, the Johnny Cage story, let's play video series. So I'm really happy that you guys are liking that, and 
I am not uploading an episode today, if you're watching this, I'm going to be uploading it again, uh, probably tomorrow, but I'm taking a little bit of a break from that, alright, taking a day or so, it's Christmas today, and Christmas Eve yesterday, so, give me a break, I'm human, and I want to spend time with my family, alright, and open some presents, and hopefully get a new chair. This next question says, do you have a girlfriend, hashtag ask cage, I'm not going to lie with you guys, I don't have a girlfriend, I, I'm not going to pretend that I have one, because I really don't have time for a girlfriend, if I had time, I would definitely go hunting for, I, why am I saying hunting, I'm not like, Hey, baby. Eh. If I meet a girl that likes the things that I like, have the same personality, is a funny, you know, creative and nice girl that looks pretty, I will ask her out and hopefully things will keep going. But I'm not, here's the thing, I'm not going to go up to a girl and say, Hi, my name's Uncage Games, 43,000 subscribers, over 12 million video views. Let me get your number. I'm not going to say that because, one, if I do say that, the chance of me getting her number is super high because she's going to be like, Ooh, this guy has a lot of subscribers, a lot of views, he must be making bank, I'm going to take his money and do, make it prank. But no, I do not have a girlfriend, I, I spent too long on that question, but I want to be honest, I don't have time for one. This next question is, what is your favorite Christmas gift and why? Hashtag ask Cage. Well, my favorite Christmas gift would have to be my PlayStation 2. When I moved to this new house, I got for Christmas, and on Christmas, I did not get my PlayStation. I did not see it. I'm like, why? Why do you hate me? Why Why do you hate me? I got, you know, toys here and there, and I forgot about it. But then the next day, my parents told me that Santa was late, and he, he was stuck in traffic or something, so he couldn't give me my PlayStation. But the next day, I hear someone knocking my door. Little Uncage is running to the door, opening it, and I don't see anybody there. But guess what I see? A bag with a PlayStation in it. Went inside. Got it out of the bag, and I don't know why, but um, I guess Santa works at Best Buy or something. I don't know, but it was in a Best Buy bag, so I got it out, and I plugged it in, and best Christmas gift ever. I think I made a video about that a while ago, but that is probably my best Christmas gift I've ever gotten. Hashtag Ask Cage, who is your favorite Justice League member and favorite Avengers member? My favorite Justice League member would have to be Aquaman. I actually have two Aquaman action figures in box still because I don't want to open these bad boys up. I have this uh, DC's Unlimited Collector's uh, Aquaman action figure. It looks pretty sick. Kept it in the box because I'm a nerd. And uh, I have a New 52 Aquaman, in, you know, Justice League thing. I got this for a birthday present from my friend Connor, my best friend. And uh, still have it in the box because... Uh, He's a, he's a pimp. He is a pimp. Yeah, if you guys ever want to give me something for Christmas or next Christmas, my birthday, or anything Aquaman related, you know your boy is going to love it. Aquaman shirt, Aquaman bobblehead, Aquaman is for me. And my favorite Avengers member would have to be Hulk. Um, Hulk smash. Done. That's all I need to say. This next question is, what is your favorite food? Hashtag ask cage. You guys will probably be like, don't you like rice, you Asian boy? Or don't you like sushi, you Asian boy? Or don't you like fried rice, you Asian boy? No, that's not my favorite food. My favorite food is tacos. I love tacos. Oh my god, I want to get some tacos right now. But guess what? It's Christmas. Taco Bell is not open. This question is, hashtag ask Cage, are you ever going to buy a PS4? Maybe. Alright, this next question is, hashtag ask Cage, how do you find topics to talk about? For example, MKX new characters and stuff. And then how do you find information? I come up with topics pretty much from you guys. You guys leave it in the comments or tweet at me. Follow me on Twitter, at Uncage Games. So you guys give me ideas for topics, you guys leave me comments and questions and tweets and stuff like that and I'm like, oh that could be a good topic for a video. I go research on that topic on the web or if I know already information about the topic, I go on, make a video on it. So that's pretty much how I make my topic videos and get the information for that. This next question is, hashtag ask Cage, how do you make such good banners, thumbnails, etc. and what is it like having over 10 
million views. All right, good good question. Um, how do I make good banners and thumbnails? A lot of lot of time spent on them. I make my banner if I don't like it. I I try to make it somewhat simple but cool looking. So if you look at my banner right now, it's Joker sitting on a throne on one side, Scorpion sitting on a throne on the other side. I think that sums up my channel pretty well. I do Mortal Kombat, I do Batman, I do a lot of other games on my channel like WWE, GTA, Five Nights. I do a lot of games, but I don't have room to put everything on my banner. But my two main priorities are Mortal Kombat and I know I've been slacking on Batman, but Batman's up there too. So that is how, you know, I just find something that inspires me and I make a banner out of that. And my thumbnails, I spend a little bit more time on my thumbnails because if I don't like my thumbnail, I will not upload my video. Like, I, my video could be done, but I will not upload that video for another, like, two hours or something until I get a perfect thumbnail. Because I put myself in the perspective of a viewer. If I am searching on YouTube and I see a thumbnail that sucks, I'm not going to click on it, alright? Doesn't matter if you have the best personality ever. If your thumbnail sucks, I'm not going to click it. So I want to make my thumbnail awesome. So that's why people are like, whoa, cool thumbnail. Click, and then my personality will do the rest. And then the last question he asks is, what is it like having over 10 million video views? I wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. I'm just kidding. I wake up and I see I have over 10 million video views. Technically, I have like 12 million now, but you know, who's counting? Sometimes I have to stop and sit down and just, just say, how do I have this much views? What am I drinking? Hot vodka. But I am so grateful for all the views, all the subscribers, all the comments, the likes, the shares, the follows on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch. So. That was my last question on this Christmas special Q&A video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So if you guys want to see some more Q&As of me just sitting on the couch and answering you guys' question off Twitter, Instagram, stuff like that, uh, follow me on Twitter, at Uncaged Games. Follow me on Instagram, at Uncaged Games with two Zs. And like the video. If you guys like the video, a lot of you guys like the video, I will try to make another one very soon in the near future, in 2015. But I hope you guys... Have a great Christmas. If you guys celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or if you guys don't celebrate anything, have a great Thursday. Alright? And if you guys enjoyed the video, click that like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. My name is Uncaged Games and you just got caged.